Okay, um, bit of negative news. YouTube have changed the the um, terms of of agreement with creators. So after twentieth of uh, February, if you don't have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of view time, you lose all your money. You lose your ads. Simple. Um, other news. Um, we're gonna focus on the fact that um, things happen in the sports world. Eddie Jones has extended his contract with England RFU till twenty twenty one. Which is, I think, a good stabilising sign. Um, there are other stories to talk about. This one I want to talk about. I don't do enough Rob Union videos. This is brilliant move by the Jones. I think he he's worked out. We're in a process. We're halfway through a World Cup cycle. We've got World Cup coming up. He, clearly, after the last World Cup two years ago, three years ago, we had a disaster. Um, what he's now done with England. In the time he's been there, has been brilliant. There are still places to improve. We've got some great young players. Our club club game is doing really well. We've got some great young players coming through. Um, we now have stability at the top. Um, him being there to at least 2021 is really good. Um, he's been to a World Cup final in Australia and lost. Um, he's coached Japan. Um, so he's been around the international game for a while. This, I think, is a really stream. He's a hard worker. He expects discipline. He expects respect. So I'm really glad that Eddie Jones has decided to stay um, until 2021. Um, without him, I think Ian Rugby's worse off. I, I, I honestly do. I think he's brought on some great players. He's, he's, he's mixed youth experience. And he demands a lot of his players. So if you're not fully fit or you're not disciplined enough, you're not selected. He learned that from his time in Australia and Japan. If you're not disciplined fit enough, you're not selected. I think he is one of the best coaches at the moment. Whether we win the World Cup for two years' time is another thing. The All Blacks are the team to beat. But the thing is, England have got the best coach at the moment in rugby union and I believe that personally. I don't live that far from Penny Hill Park in, in Bagshot. I live about eight miles away. So you regularly see the players where I live um, going to the cinema after training sessions, doing group bonding sessions, like going to the cinema, going bowling together. Uh, I remember I met Mr Clive Woodward and Ben Cohen, Steve Thompson, um, and I think Matt Dawson, um, about the time of the World Cup, just before we went out to Australia, at, at my local cinema in Bracknell. Um, so you do see them about, they do come in and they will integrate with the public and they will be like, how you doing? So, that's all good. Uh, hopefully we have a good good Six Nations. Um, it's going to be a very tight Six Nations. Not every team is at full strength because of injuries and suspensions. It's going to be very, very open Six Nations as well. Um, and you've got to think, with all the negative that's going on with YouTube at the moment stuff, I'm still making videos. I can't afford not to. But he's going to stay there till 2021. Um, and we'll have to see what effect that has on the players in the Six Nations and how they react to the fact that he is there and that he is going to be there for another four years. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. How, what are your views on the subject? What do people think about Eddie Jones? Do they rate him as a coach? Do they not rate him as a coach? Uh, and what do they think of their current England side? Because players are missing because of injury. Including Billy Villapola, Manny Tualangi. They're both not there. What effect will that have on England? I'll have some more videos for you soon. Thank you very much for watching.